CBBC Pow! Hello, CBBC watching type people. That's you. This is Summer Mornings with Dan and Jeff. Jeff? Jeff? <sighs> Jeff, man, where have you been? You're late. I had to start without you. Yeah. And I have to say, I was good. I know I'm late, but you know, who cares what I do? No one notices. Just drink your tea. I notice. Especially when you make a great cup of tea like this, Jeff. This is an amazing cup of tea in my favourite mug. Brilliant. So I'm great at making tea. Don't you underestimate yourself, Jeff. Making tea is a mild achievement. What? Well, all too often we celebrate people who do really good things, but what about the small stuff? I mean, come on, tell me what you did this morning. Well, um, I started making my bed, but um, after plumping up the pillows, I just got bored and wandered off. Wow! Started making your bed? That's further than I got. That is brilliant, mate. You are a hero of being a bit good at things. You think that's good? That is amazing. What else did you do? What did you do last night? Well, you know what I did last what? night, Dan. I had one of my poetry battles. I asked you to come along, you said you would, and you totally didn't. Mate, I would have loved to have come along, but it just sounded so boring. How did you do? Oh, uh, not so good. I tried a risky rhyme of kitchen foil with Nadine Coil. Wow. Crowd didn't go for it. I came fifth. What, out of five? No, out of 11. Rubbish. Rubbish? That is brilliant, Jeff. It is a perfect example of a mild achievement. Not too good, but not too bad. These things ought to be celebrated. Are you sure about this? Oh, absolutely. And I'm going to get these guys to back me up. Email us in any of your mild achievements. You know, something you did that was a bit good, and we'll announce it to the world. What, you mean like if you got six out of ten on a spelling test? Exactly. Or maybe you baked some cakes and you just burnt the edges. You know, no harm done. All right, let's see if this works. Email in your mild achievements to us here at cbbc at bbc.co.uk and uh, I guess we'll look at some straight on. Fifth. I'm proud. Yeah, you know, uh, this whole idea of um, celebrating things that are quite good, I'm having yeah. second thoughts. Second thoughts? You have two thoughts at the same time. That's two more than I ever have. People like you deserve a prize. <sighs> Never won a prize for anything. And maybe that's all about to change. <laughs> what? Well. While Serious Ocean was on, I had a plan. <laughs> yeah, right. I know, I surprised even myself. But what about we celebrate people's mild achievements with the Mild Achievement Awards? The Mild Achievement Awards, bow. Yeah, 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 look, look, look. I made a trophy and everything out of some of your biscuits. <gasps> Is that for me? Hands off! You don't just get a trophy, Jeff. You have to go to an award ceremony to be awarded said trophy. Observe. Um, where? Where did that podium come from? Hello and welcome to the first ever Mild Achievement Awards. And here to present the award for Decent Cup of Tea, it's CBBC's favourite, Daniel Veronica Clarkson. Thank you. The nominations for Decent Cup of Tea are... Envelope, please. Thank you, you're lovely. Jefferson Excelsior Turner for making a decent cup of tea. And the winner is... Oh! It's Jefferson Excelsior Turner for making a decent cup of tea! <laughs> <laughs> this, this is so unexpected. I, 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 I haven't prepared the speech or anything. I, I, I wasn't expecting to win. Just the trip here was lovely. Um, oh, there's so many people to thank. Uh, I'm so sorry if I forget you. Um, there, there is, of course, um, my, my, my mum for teaching me how to make a cup of tea. Uh, milk in first, warm the pot. That's what we used to say, wasn't it, mum? <laughs> Fun times. There was uh, Catherine of Braganza, of course, who first brought tea to the British Isles in the 1660s. And, um, and Dan for um, organising this whole charade just to make me feel better. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. See? <laughs> How did you feel? I feel amazing! Huh? We should let everyone feel like this. What, make cups of tea for everybody? Hey, my teapot's big, it's not that big, Dan. No, no, I mean, I mean, maybe get people to email in their mild achievements and then we can give kudos to the best ones. Well, to the most a bit good ones. Oh, yeah, not the best ones. We don't want poorly perfect emailing in. Oh, I come first to everything. No. Exactly so. Send your suggestions, emails in for mild achievements to cbbc at bbc.co.uk. Maybe you started washing your dad's car, but you only got as front as far as words. Uh, 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 start oh, yeah, uh, you're only quite good. That you was how to mess sentence. up an email solicit. <laughs> yeah. 
You only got as far as the front wheels in your dad's car. That deserves credit. Yeah, or maybe um, you bought a new pencil a couple of months ago and you haven't quite bitten the rubber off yet. That's an achievement. Yeah, so keep on coming in and we'll continue the celebrations after Sam and Mark's guide to dodging disaster. Are we going to send each of them one of these? Well, I've only made three of them. Oh, and it's the BBC. We don't give things no, away. But we're <laughs> going to be on telly. Well, I'm going to be on telly. Exactly. That's all you want. Yeah. That's a mild achievement. I think that was a mild achievement. <laughs> Welcome back to the first ever Mild Achievement Awards. That's right. We're celebrating people who aren't all that rubbish. And the first award is the Better Than Useless Award. Le so let's get straight on with the proceedings. <clears throat> and the nominations are... Emma in North Berwick, who says, I took the washing to my room, but put it all in the same drawer. Oh, very good. Had, of course, Emma put the washing into separate drawers, that would have been achievement into the same drawer. That's definitely a mild achievement contender. Our next nomination is Jake, who says, I have nearly learnt Iron Man on my guitar, but I gave up. What's important here is he nearly learnt it. He got so close to the finish and then gave up, making him definitely better than useless. And finally, Natasha, who says, My thing that was OK was when I was third in a dance competition, it was out of six. Classic mild achievement. She's not the best, but by no means she's the worst. She's third, mediocre, in the middle. And the winner is... Oh, I can't take it out, I'm so nervous. It's Emma from North Berwick for putting all her watching in the same and draw. Now, unfortunately, Emma from North Berwick couldn't get all the way down here in, with 26 minutes notice and if she did come here she might have expected to get to keep the award as well. But accepting and keeping the award on her behalf is Daniel Veronica oh, Clarkson. No. No. Oh. Emma! We did it! We did it Emma! You could have put it in separate drawers, you put it in the same drawer Emma! You are better than useless! This is for you Emma, all that hard work, we did it! <laughs> Moving. <laughs> and if you think you deserve a Mild Achievement Award, tell us why you should be a winner. Email it in to us here at cbbc at bbc.co.uk and you might just win after Best of Friends.